Hey guys, welcome back to the Crooked River and Eastern Railroad. Alright, this is going to be part two of the river scenery build. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to get right at it and I'll turn the camera. We'll go from there. So stand by. Okay, so all my, uh, let's go with the mold is dry. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I have some paint that I got at Home Depot. It's a quarter paint. It was in the steak paint area. It's kind of like this, I don't know, tan, beigey looking color. Two dollars, guys. Really doesn't matter. I'm just going to strictly be to cover the white. So I put about half of this cup of paint. I'm going to mix probably about another, I'll water it down. I don't know if I'm going to go with the whole half, but I'm going to just kind of eyeball it so it's a little bit, a bit thinner, so it'll spread better. I protected the backdrop there, as you can see. Yeah, there's probably plenty. Plenty watered down. What I'll do is I'll just start in this area here. And what I don't want to do is cover my rock casting, so I want to be careful around those, so I'm going to kind of see how that all plays out, but my plan is to not cover those. Is that I'm going to use even more of a wash on. I'm going to do that after I cover the the uh, like the rock forms. There's no castings up here, so I'm going to start up here just to get an idea of how it's going to lay out. You know, get in all the nooks and crannies with the paint. So I wanted to water it down. I figured it would soak in. It'd be kind of hard to get in those little nooks and crannies. I want to be careful here around the, ed the edges. I don't want it dripping down. I did cover the floor, but, you know, why could kill me after all that if I mess up the floor down here? I like the color. I mean, like I said, it's just just for covering. It's not necessarily going to be my final cover. It's actually probably kind of light for my area of the country. It probably would look really good out west if you're we modeling out west. It's like more of a sandy taupe color. color. And I like how it's kind of running. I just I have a paper towel on my other hand just because I want to make sure it doesn't run down the side. And especially when I get closer to these rock formations, I don't want to get any latex paint on there. Okay, I'll be back. Stand by. Okay. Like I said, I didn't want to bore you with all that painting. It took me a while. Um, so like I said, it's a basic brown. It ended up being a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. But that's okay. So I left all the rock faces. So I can uh, actually do a wash on them at some point. Um, as you can see, some are castings, some like along here. I, I wish I would have thought to do this before painted it all, but I kind of left some like little rock jutouts there. I'm going to get some riprap um, to put on there as well. I think that's going to be pretty much what that island's going to be. At least a good portion of it, front portion for sure. Then back here, same thing. I'm moving the camera around, just give you a better view. And up top, of some uh, spots for some different color, you know, just rock outcroppings. All right, today we're gonna start attempting to paint these rocks. Everything is all in place, um, dry. So you saw my tutorial the other day on how I'm painting them. So now I'm going to attempt to actually paint them on the layout itself so bear with me and uh, let's get started okay hopefully you'll be able to see this okay 
just like we did on the example piece, we're going to wet the rock down. Some water, clean water. It's going to dry pretty quick, so we're just going to hit a little section at a time. I got my green paint. Somewhat watered down, but it's pretty straight. I think about a 50 50 paint mix to water. And uh, again, you want to protect anything. So, anyways, I don't really have any scenery yet. Just, if you were doing this and you already had a lot of scenery, you want to protect it. Basically, painting this rock. and crannies. Standing water here now that I just soak up. Okay. As you can see, I got the gray on there, and uh, we'll let that dry. So yeah, we'll let that dry. There's plenty more to do. I'll stop the camera, and uh, when I get these all colored with the base gray, I'll be back. All right, so we got the base color, gray. That does look a little dark right now. But that'll change once I start adding the other colors in. Um, this side down over here as well. Okay, so I'm going to start over on this side because this side I did first, so it should be more dry. Start adding some of those colors like I did the other night on the uh, how-to video. And uh, I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. I'm not going to bore you with all that. That's why I did the how-to so you can see it. So. Yeah, stand by and uh, I'll be back. Alright guys, it's going to do it for this episode. Um, stay tuned uh, for part three. Part three, we'll start doing some ground cover. Um, tie things in a little bit better. Blend the rocks in with the ground and the surrounding areas. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, talk to you later. Bye for now.